Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So I haven't done this since like 2019. I'm going to be reviewing the Met, is it Met Gala? 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 I think that sounds right. Yeah, I'm going to be reviewing the Met Gala outfits for 2022. I keep thinking we're in 2023 for some reason. I don't really know how that happened. I'm not going to sit here and like pick apart the people, you know, because these people have worked so hard to get to that event. We can only dream that that will happen to us one day. Also, I don't know if you guys can see, but my lips are a bit like black here. Yesterday, I hit my head on a counter and my whole lips like swollen and black on the inside, but we're not going to talk about that. The Met is like one of my favorite events of like America that we get to just sit back and watch. Anyway, I want to get started straight onto Blake Lively's outfit. I was shocked when I saw it. It is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. The whole reveal with her and like Ryan and then his face when she changed and it's so good. Obviously it's about the Statue of Liberty, right? And she first of all has this dress that is like a copper color, like that sort of pinky red sort of thing. And then they do the reveal when they're like on the stairs and it turns into like that blue, which the statue is now. And I think it is absolutely stunning. All of the details are beautiful. And like the way like it wraps around, like on the waist and then comes out. So that one is getting a, a thousand out of 10. That is my favorite look of the event, I'm pretty sure. Sean Mendes, not bad. He fits the theme. I think I like the outfit better when he puts on that like big jacket. It just kind of makes it seem a bit more special because it's just like a just all navy suit before. Like I don't mind it. It definitely is fitting to the theme and lots of people didn't fit the theme, which we will get to. I'll give him like a six. Camilla Cabell. Look, I, I really like her. She is a fabulous person, but I don't know if I really like it. It's like, I think the bottom is cool, but I just don't really like the top. It seems a bit like risky. Like a vest has been cut in half. I mean, it looks good on her. It just isn't my favorite. Six out of 10. Billie Eilish. Again, like it does fit the theme of like that royal old American sort of stuff that they're going for. But the idea is there. I just don't love the colors. Like the way like it just like randomly like pokes out at the hips. I mean, I guess that was like the fashion back then. But I don't know, I feel like I could see her in more of like a red or like a blue. Not like some, like it's this color, like that weird, I don't know, pasty sort of brownie white. <sighs> Five out of 10. Ooh, okay. Taylor Hill, I don't actually know who she is, but I just stumbled across her outfit and I, Love it. She starts off with this blue, like royal blue sort of dress. Got some really pretty flowers there, a long train, and then I'm guessing she like undoes something and then it all flops out into like this floral, floral thing. That is really pretty. I really like that. Okay, who's next? Megan Stallion. Gorgeous. Love it. Suits her so much. It's so like extra and I love the feathers. It's really nice. Gold, looks beautiful on her, matches her eyes, whoever did the makeup, amazing job. Absolutely love that one. Oh, okay, Hailey Bieber. I love the fluffy wrap. I think that is gorgeous. And like how she's got the white dress with the black leggings. It's just my personal preference, but I don't love the look of the loose, like silk dresses. Like she does look great, but it just isn't, like the actual dress itself isn't my favorite, but I love the, the wrap. Very nice. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but the guy from Bridgerton, Rage, Regine, 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 he's just wearing like this blue velvety jacket, blue shirt, grey pants. Look, it's a nice suit, but it isn't that extra. But he looks happy, so that'd be for him. Miss Kylie Jenner, she could have done so much. Like I understand her idea behind it, like trying to add that sort of, you know, cool look with the cap, but the cap just ruins it. Uh, and the dress like isn't, it looks cheap. Like she could do, like she would have an amazing outfit. Like she could have done so much. And I don't know, I just, mm, I don't like it. 
Like, I'm sure there's a story behind it, and I'm sure, you know, whatever, but it isn't my personal favorite. Her after party look, much better. That would get a three out of 10. Okay, Kendall. Okay, I like her outfit better, but it's the makeup that's kind of scaring me here because they kind of got rid of the eyebrows. Then she bleached her eyebrows. Why? Lizzo. Oh, with her flutes. How lovely. I love her outfit and this whole persona. It's very grand. Love the black and gold. That's very fitting with the theme. Like, I think it's just an awesome look and just so royal. This photo, just it just gives the whole vibe that she's going for, like a royal sort of leader. Amazing. I love it. Um, Kim Kardashian. Hmm. Okay, yep. Like the outfit, but like it isn't anything like amazing. I know it's got that whole Marilyn Monroe sort of thing. I, I'm a bit too young to know like the Marilyn Monroe sort of era. I'm not, I'm not there, so I don't really understand the significance of it. I love the outfit but again it's just the makeup and the hair like the slick back white i feel like she should have done it a little bit different three okay we can touch on to ryan reynolds he just looks so happy and so like glad to be there i feel like it's hard i feel like it's a little bit hard for guys to do something so different because there's only so many you know suit variations you can do before you get like crazy um, but I think I think he looks nice and I'm just gonna give him 10 out of 10. Okay, I just saw Addison Ray's after party look At that point you may as well grab like a, a net Cut it throw it over you and call it a day. That's just like fully naked It's just like these nude sort of plastic things and like a black thing where is that from like the fly screens uh, uh, like yes yeah, she looks good but that outfit I would never wear oh Dakota Johnson I'm not too sure how I feel about that it reminds me of something the dangles like kind of like them weird dangly beads that you used to get like for your doorway a black version of the Grinch that's what I think with the fur I'm gonna give that one a Three. The Gigi Hadid. Everyone's kind of like saying bad stuff about her outfit, but I actually don't mind it. Like it's really extravagant and different and like cool. I like it. Like the jacket does look, it looks weird, but again, it goes with the theme. It is very royal and like she looks powerful and scary and mean. Let's change location. I can't see. I'm gonna give her a seven out of 10. Okay, the Squid Game star, that's what I was looking for. Don't know how to pronounce her name, so I'm not gonna pronounce it. I think she looks really, really cute. Um, she's a legend, amazing actor, even though I didn't understand what she was saying in the movie. I like it, it's different. I don't, doesn't really go with the theme in my opinion, but I think she looks good, she looks cute. I'd still go for a look that may not be what the theme is, but looks good rather than something that's just completely off key and very odd. So did Zendaya just not go? Why? Oh, she's making movies, that's why she can't go. I just can't get over like lively dress. It is so pretty. Oh, you, Vanessa from Haskell Musical. I like her outfit, it looks really good. Got for an all black sort of look, which is nice. I like this sort of area, how it like covers up with the lace and like the black and the mesh. And the makeup and the hair suits, it all flows really nice. Definitely was all well put together. Eight out of 10. Kris Jenner, she looks different. Um, mm, Again, I get it, but I don't love it. I feel like the white sleeve kind of ruins it a little bit. I don't know, it looks like one of the rugs that I have. Three. Elon Musk was there? Oh my God, this person. When I saw this, I was like, what? Frederick Robertson. That is scary. Like, credit to the designer, whoever made this. That would have been so hard. I don't even know what's going on. It looks like some weird little like, fish spiky thing. Um like thrown by it's cool but it is so scary eight out of ten okay well i think that's enough outfits we kind of got quite a lot of them there my favorite would be blake lively again we've discussed this least favorite kylie jenner unfortunately i don't like it i don't like the wedding vibe but yeah i mean at the end of the day who am i to judge like i'm just sitting here in my backyard I'm not 
getting invited to these things. That's what the world does. We like judge these outfits. Yeah, well, comment below your thoughts on the outfits for this year. Like, I'd love to hear your favorite and least favorite because this is just one of my favorite events of the year. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe and I will hopefully see you in my next video.